European emission standards define the acceptable limits for exhaust emissions of new vehicles sold in EU member states. The emission standards are defined in a series of European Union directives stating the progressive introduction of increasingly stringent standards. Currently, emissions of nitrogen oxides, total hydrocarbon, non-methane hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide and particulate matter are regulated for most vehicle types, including cars, lorries, trains, tractors and similar machinery, barges, but excluding seagoing ships and aeroplanes. For each vehicle type, different standards apply. Compliance is determined by running the engine at a standardized test cycle. Non-compliant vehicles cannot be sold in the EU, but new standards do not apply to vehicles already on the roads. No use of specific technologies is mandated to meet the standards, though available technology is considered when setting the standards. New models introduced must meet current or planned standards, but minor life cycle model revisions may continue to be offered with pre-compliant engines. In the early 2000s, Australia began harmonizing Australian design rules certification for new motor vehicle emissions with Euro categories. Euro 3 was introduced on January 1, 2006 and is progressively being introduced to align with European introduction dates. Also see the EU mandated European onboard diagnostics. CO2 emission. Within the European Union, road transport is responsible for about 20% of all CO2 emissions with passenger cars contributing about 12%. The target fixed at Kyoto Protocol was an 8% reduction of emissions in all sectors of the economy compared to 1990 levels by 2008 to 2012. Relative CO2 emissions from transport have risen rapidly in recent years, from 21% of the total in 1990 to 28% in 2004, but currently there are no standards for limits on CO2 emissions from vehicles. EU transport emissions of CO2 currently account for about 3.5% of total global CO2 emissions. Obligatory labeling, the purpose of Directive 1999-EC of the European Parliament and the Council of December 13, 1999 relating to the availability of consumer information on fuel economy and CO2 emissions in respect of the marketing of new passenger cars is to ensure that information relating to the fuel economy and CO2 emissions of new passenger cars offered for sale or lease in the community is made available to consumers in order to enable consumers to make an informed choice. In the United Kingdom, the initial approach was deemed ineffective. The way the information was presented was too complicated for consumers to understand. As a result, car manufacturers in the United Kingdom voluntarily agreed to put a more a Euro-E consumer-friendly, a Euro-color-coded label displaying CO2 emissions on all new cars beginning in September 2005, with a letter from A to F. The goal of the new Euro OE Green Labila Euro is to give consumers clear information about the environmental performance of different vehicles. Other EU member countries are also in the process of introducing consumer friendly labels. Obligatory Vehicle CO2 Emission Limits EU Regulation No 443 2009 sets an average CO2 emissions target for new passenger cars of 130 grams per kilometre. The target is gradually being phased in between 2012 and 2015. A target of 95 grams per kilometer will apply from 2021. For light commercial vehicle, an emissions target of 175 grams per kilometer applies from 2017 and 147 grams per kilometer from 2020. Toxic emission, stages and legal framework, the stages are typically referred to as Euro 1, Euro 2. Euro 3, Euro 4 and Euro 5 for light-duty vehicle standards. The corresponding series of standards for heavy-duty vehicles use Roman, rather than Arabic numerals. The legal framework consists in a series of directives, each amendment to the 1970 Directive 70 EEC. The following is a summary list of the standards, when they come into force, what they apply to, and which EU directives provide the definition of the standard. Euro 1, for passenger cars, 91 EEC. Also for passenger cars and light trucks, 93 EEC. Euro 2 for passenger cars, 94 EEC. For motorcycle, 2002 EEC, 2006 EEC. 
Euro 3 for any vehicle, 98 Tech for motorcycle, 2002 EC, 2006 EC. Euro 4 for any vehicle, 98 EC, Euro 5 and Euro 6 for light passenger and commercial vehicles, 715 EC. These limits supersede the original directive on emission limits 70 EEC. The classifications for vehicle category are defined by Commission Directive 2001 EC of December 20, 2001, adapting to Technical Progress Council Directive 70 EEC on the approximation of the laws of the member states relating to the type approval of motor vehicles and their trailers, Directive 2002 EC of the European Parliament and of the Council of March 18, 2002 relating to the type approval of two or three-wheeled motor vehicles and appealing Council Directive 92 EEC, in the area of fuels, the 2001 Biofuels Directive requires that 5.75% of all transport fossil fuels should be replaced by biofuels by December 31, 2010 with an intermediate target of 2% by the end of 2005. However, MEPs have since voted to lower this target in the wake of new scientific evidence about the sustainability of biofuels and the impact on food prices. In a vote in Strasbourg, the European Parliament Euro Unregistered Trademark S Environment Committee supported a plan to curb the EU target for renewable sources in transport to 4% by 2015. They also said that a thorough review would be required in 2015 before the EU could progress to an 8 to 10 percent mark by 2020. Emission Standards for Passenger Cars Emission standards for passenger cars and light commercial vehicles are summarized in the following tables. Since the Euro 2 stage, EU regulations introduce different emission limits for diesel and petrol vehicles. Diesels have more stringent CO standards but are allowed higher NOx emissions. Petrol-powered vehicles are exempted from particulate matter standards through to the Euro 4 stage, but vehicles with direct injection engines will be subject to a limit of 0.005 a gram per kilometer for Euro 5 and Euro 6. A particulate number standard or is part of Euro 5 and 6, but is not final. The standard is to be defined as soon as possible and at the latest upon entry into force of Euro 6. All dates listed in the tables refer to new type approvals. The EC directives also specify a second date a Euro one year later a Euro, which applies to first registration of existing, previously type approved vehicle models. European Emission Standards for Passenger Cars, Gram per Kilometer, Emission Standards for Light Commercial Vehicles, European Emission Standards for Light Commercial Vehicles at per mil 1305 currency a kg. Gram per kilometer, European Emission Standards for Light Commercial Vehicles 1305 a kg a Euro 1760 a kg, gram per kilometer, European Emission Standards for Light Commercial Vehicles greater than 1760 a kg max 3500 a kg, gram per kilometer, Emission Standards for Trucks and Buses, whereas for Passenger Cars, the standards are defined by Vehicle Driving Distance, gram per kilometer, 4. Lorries they are defined by engine energy output, gram per kilowatt hour, and are therefore in no way comparable. The following table contains a summary of the emission standards and their implementation dates. Dates in the tables refer to new type approvals. The dates for all type approvals are in most cases one year later. The official category name is heavy duty diesel engines, which generally includes lorries and buses. EU emission standards for HD diesel engines, gram per kilowatt hour, emission standards for large goods vehicles, enhanced environmentally friendly vehicle, enhanced environmentally friendly vehicle or EEV is a term used in the European emission standards for the definition of a clean vehicle 3.5 ton in the category M2 and M3. The standard lies between the levels of Euro V and Euro 6. Emission standards for non-road mobile machinery. The term non-road mobile machinery is a term used in the European emission standards to control emissions of engines that are not used primarily on public roadways. This definition included off-road vehicles as well as railway vehicles. European standards for non-road diesel engines harmonize with the US EPA standards, and comprise gradually stringent tiers known as Stage I-4 standards. The Stage I-2 was part of the 1997 directive. 
It was implemented in two stages with Stage I implemented in 1999 and Stage II implemented between 2001 and 2004. In 2004, the European Parliament adopted Stage 3 4 standards. The Stage 3 standards were further divided into Stage 3A and 3B were phased in between 2006 and 2013. Stage 4 standards will be enforced in 2014. Cycle beating, for the emission standards to deliver real emission reductions it is crucial to use a test cycle that reflects real-world driving style. It was discovered that engine manufacturers would engage in what was called cycle beating to optimize emission performance to the test cycle, while emissions from typical driving conditions would be much higher than expected, undermining the standards in public health. In one particular instance, research from two German technology institutes found that for diesel cars no real NOx reductions have been achieved after 13 years of stricter standards. Electrification as Europe's requirements for its vehicle fleets head toward a goal of 98 grams of CO2 per kilometer by 2020, Christian Maloney of the German office of consulting group McKinsey and Company says the only way the automakers can get there and make money is with plug-in vehicles. Many EU member states have responded to this problem by exploring the possibility of including electric vehicle-related infrastructure into their existing road traffic system with some even having begun implementation. The UK has begun its plugged-in places scheme which sees funding go to several areas across the UK in order to create a network of charging points for electric vehicles. See also, ACEA Agreement, Biofuels Directive, Emission Standards, Energy Policy of the European Union, European Common Transport Policy, European Federation for Transport and Environment, European Union Emission Trading Scheme, Life Cycle Assessment, Motor Vehicle Emissions, National Emission Ceiling, Portable Emissions Measurement System, Type Approval, World Forum for Harmonization of Vehicle Regulations, Notes. References External links, European Emission Standards European Environment Agency, EEA Glossary, EEA Transport Page Euractiv.com, Euro 5 Emission Standards for Cars, Dieselnet EU Emission Standards, Netherlands Environmental Assessment Agency The Impact of Euro 5, Facts and Figures Commission Proposal for Euro 5, T&D, No Diesel NOx Reduction in 13 Years Due to Cycle Beating, COM 2007-19 Results of the Review of the Community Strategy to Reduce CO2 Emissions from Passenger Cars and Light Commercial Vehicles, European Commission Conference Options to reduce greenhouse gas emissions due to mobile air conditioning, in the media, July 2, 2007, Auto Industry, ACEA welcomes EU Environment Council Euro Unregistered Trademark S Recognition of Need for Integrated Approach to CO2 Reduction, February 7, 2007, BBC, EU Car CO2 Fight Only. Beginning, February 7, 2007, European Commission, EU plans legislation to cut CO2 emissions from cars, February 6, 2007, International Herald Tribune, EU to compromise on auto emissions, January 31, 2007, Transport and Environment, Europe set to clean up fuels but stalls on cars, January 31, 2007, European Commission, EU proposes stricter fuel standards to cut CO2 emissions. January 24, 2007, The Guardian, Grand Plan for a Low Carbon Europe Goes Up in Smoke, October 19, 2004, European Environment Agency, Poor European Test Standards. Understate Air Pollution from Cars, 